Hey guys, do you remember that time I was recording a game called Fairy Fencer F? And I hadn't done it in a while because for some reason, I don't know, I just didn't. Well, uh, hi, this is BSL Blood Spinning Lizard back again. Welcome to the next part of Let's Play Fairy Fencer F. Now, let me see if I can remember what the heck I was supposed to do. Apparently, got some events in Zolins. Sunflower in, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, let's see what's going on here. Today's dessert is a chiffon cake flavored with tea, black sesame seeds, and vanilla milk. I hope you enjoy the flavors. Nice apron, boss. Whoa! This looks tasty! Thanks for the grub! You're not gonna question the apron? Hey! Don't touch it with your hands! Apologize to that fluffy chiffon cake! Okay. Ow! Don't be so nitpicky. Your wings are gonna get wrinkles. Fascinating. No, I won't. <laughs> I agree. Using your hands is uncivilized. You should get on your knees, bow your head, and apologize to that cake. What? You're just going to eat my portion while I'm kneeling. That is something you would do, not me. Do you even know what kneeling signifies? Aaron, please demonstrate for Fang. Awkward. Why should I? You do it. Come on, get on your knees. Rich girls are used to seeing their servants grovel on the floor, right? Oh my. I apologize, Aaron. I just assumed kneeling on the floor was reserved for the dregs of society. Such as yourself. Bitch. Hey, what's your family like anyway, Tiara? Are you a noble or maybe some kind of royalty? Now that you mention it, Galdo, Tiara hasn't really said much about her past. Likewise. But if you truly wish to know, I can indulge your curiosity. I was born into a royal family somewhere in this country and doted on by tens of thousands of servants. Understand? My station is completely different from your own. How many is tens of thousands? Where is somewhere? I cannot divulge that information. It would be dreadful if you suddenly kidnapped me and demanded a ransom from my family. Yeah, <sighs> you caught me. You were really planning to do that? Man, you're the worst. Remember, Fang, we've already collected some furies, but I'm still missing most of my memories. Don't forget that we're still in the middle of an adventure. If you let yourself get distracted, some other Fetzer will come along and defeat you. Shut up, I already know that. Lola, you got some information for old Fang oh, here? My favorite customers! Long time no see! Is your wallet just as excited as I am? I'm offering some really yummy info at this price today. Wanna throw down some cash? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you for your patronage. Now, you might need to hustle to collect the fury this time. It's at the Zawaza Plains. But I hear the Dorfa Corporation is looking to get their mitts on that fury. The Dorfa Corporation? Are you certain? Yep, yep. Plus, the search is being led by an extremely powerful fencer named Apollonius. No way! Did you say Apollonius? You know this guy, Galdo? Apollonius is the same rank as Zenk. He's one of Dorfa's four heavenly czars. Dorfa? Didn't they throw that awesome party? You're saying Zenk and this Apolloony guy work for that corporation? Dorfa is one of the largest corporations in the world. They invest in orphanages, charities, and many community projects. They also have a vast network of business connections. That's right! The Dorfa Corporation is ranked among the top three companies that people most desire to work for. So those rumors about Dorfa investing a lot of money and manpower into collecting the Furies were true. If they're really competing with us for the Furies, things might get a little dicey. Yep, and if Apollonius is running things, that's even worse for us, eh? That guy is no slouch when it comes to swordplay. Do you know him, Galdo? Not directly, but when it comes to armed combat, I know that Apollonius is Dorfa's number one fencer. Interesting. 
He's stronger than Zank, huh? So, if I defeat him, that'll make me Dorfus number one fencer! What's going on? You seem more excited than usual. <laughs> I've just come up with an ingenious plan. Prepare to be amazed. Oh, God. If I defeat two of Dorfa's heavenly czars, they'll fall short on labor, so they'll have to hire me instead. Nice plan, huh? What? Uh, thank you. Do you know why that's probably a bad idea, right? Think about it. Dorfa's a huge corporation. If I work for them, I'll never have to worry about money or food again. You idiot! There's no way the world-famous Dwarfa Corporation would hire a no-good lazy fencer like you! Do you even have what it takes to work a regular job? You'd have to wake up early every morning, you know? I, I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Never mind. I take it all back. Anyway, let's go look for that fury. Brace yourselves, everyone! It is suddenly telling me to brace myself. New unknown area is unknown. This is the Waza Za 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 Za. Pinelli. Even though I won't get as much experience, I drop it right there. St hmm. Stingle Aquarius up. Uh, most of these enemies sound familiar. Whoa. Apparently, there are quite a few areas here in Zawaza Plain, so I guess I better get myself ready. I say then I just jump into the dungeon. That's... <laughs> Whatever. What's going on here? So, this is the Zawaza Plains. Looks like there's no sign of Dorfa anywhere. I can't even smell them. What would they even smell like? It's not like they wear cologne or anything. Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> what the... <sighs> been waiting for this. Come get some. And now, uh, where are you Bring going to throw me into a fight? My turn. Against dangerous enemies. Can I hit them? I can't hit the both the guys with spears, so let's do the Throw. thing. But a blast. Let's do this. And there definitely are three of them. Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to target both of them. This that's a wish not coming true. Hmm. Not too bad in terms of how much damage these guys can do to me. But, I don't think I should have much of a problem. Stop punching me! Die. Their health isn't... Yeah, his big boss health isn't going down any. Alright, now they are. I guess it was only for this guy. I mean, if I were on, if I only would attack him, then I guess that means that I would not have to worry about the others. And this would just end just like that. No, I don't think it'd be that easy. Regardless, win for us. I'm even stronger And level up for Fang, level 13. And level up for TR as well. Sasmouth and Galdo. And I get and Chrisinger levels up. Dax levels up. Sasmouth. That's just what we want. Is level ups up the wazoo. Why do I do that? I'm thinking this is Neptunia, and you can search for hidden items by pressing square. I'm anonymous though, it's something I never talked about since I haven't recorded this in the longest time. Apparently, Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1 and 2 are actually supposed to be coming to Steam sometime this year. And so is this game, Fairy Fence and so is this game, Fairy Fence Earth. Which is very interesting. Will I get it? I might. Since these are bees, I'm assuming they have the ability to poison, like, most- God damn it, how many times have they been able to move? 
You are dead. <laughs> Are they all gonna go after Tiara like they usually freaking do? Up you go and defeated to you. Let's do this. I mean, I probably should not I probably shouldn't use too many Tiara's attacking spells right now because I wanna keep her from be my healer. And sail levels up. Because I do want her to be able to heal me. Also, I also want to level up, level up their combos, so I can get more hits on these enemies. Can I get in? Nope, can't get in close enough. So I decided to skip. Take this! They're not dead. God damn it! At least they're not. I say that. At least they're not close enough to me, so they can can't do much damage. My turn. Okay, Let's do this. Let's go in. Die. My turn. Yes. Let's do this. Next. <laughs> that was nothing. Sure wasn't. All right, cutting up battles as of right Here now, and that takes that care is. of that. Even though I did take some I damage, and Tiara levels up again. Man, she's been leveling up a lot for some re weird reason. Do I really... I guess maybe that's a sign that I really should start grinding a little bit more. Eh, I'll do it in between videos. But I don't want to skip battles either. I also love how this enemy is called Spa. Apparently you are weak to the axe. That hurt! Okay, I gotta be really, really careful. These enemies can do some damage. Okay, could almost target all three. Not target these two, guys are spares. Do the thing, eh? Thank you for being able to get them both, Galdo. Take this! Tiara is about to die. Tiara is dead. Those lasers, anything would be peachy. Die. The winner is us, eh? The winner is us, but unfortunately not for Tiara. Alright, so do be careful of these machine guys, please. I don't think I want to fight them very much right now. Yes. Fuck. I'm just gonna get ambushed. Okay, good. These guys can't do as much damage. Tiara! Come on! Let's go in. Now they're all going for Galdo. Pretty much like 
Uh, yeah, we are all killed here earlier in the day, or at least those machine guy do. Brother. Yeah, now let's go for that guy with that big ass freaking scythe. Because why not? That really hurt my throat to do that voice, just throwing that out there. So don't expect me to do it again, regardless. Was that it? It takes care of them. I'm not fighting those machine guys. Uh, I don't know, something's telling me I should heal Galdo. Okay, there are multiple sections of this dungeon, don't forget about that. I'm almost at the next section, by the way. I'm sure I'm gonna regret not fighting. What's this? Oh, it's gonna trigger. Or maybe I won't have to go that far. Not again! Hey, it's, uh... Lord, yeah, him. Hey, you're that cocky pianist from before! So we meet again. I'm glad. I've been praying for your safety since we last met. I, too, have been praying that we would meet you again someday. Me, too! Me, too! What the heck? He's acting way too cool. I don't think I like this guy very much. Right? Okay, Sherman, let's throw down! Hey, Fang! Are you trying to pick a fight with the dashing Lord Sherman? You better not! Stay back, Fang! Shut up! You two stay quiet! This guy's a fencer, too! That means he's here for the Fury, right? So it's perfectly normal for us to fight! Who cares? Lord Sherman can have it for all I care! That Fury would be much safer with him anyway. Isn't that right, Lord Sherman? Thank you. I will never forget this act of kindness. I would prefer not to stain my sword with blood, if at all possible. There's no way I'm letting that happen! I'll never hand it over to you! That Fury is mine! I agree with Fang. I'd rather hand the Fury over to a pig than let this show-off take it! <laughs> The way Goggles said pig, I'd rather hand the fury over to a pig than let you show off. Take it. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. And the dungeon continues, but you know what, guys? I am going to stop this video for now. I think I should probably go back and grind a bit. Till next time, Blood Spitting Lizard out.